exclusively on ESPN Plus. UFC 238. Tomorrow, two can miss championship fights. Cejudo versus Marais. And Shevchenko versus I. New subscribers can get UFC 238 and a year of ESPN Plus for $79.99. With ESPN Plus, get unrivaled access to UFC content, including exclusive fights. Buy it on ESPNPlus.com slash PPV. UFC International Fight Week returns to Las Vegas this July. This year will be bigger and better than ever. Featuring a two-day interactive fan experience, 2019 UFC Hall of Fame ceremony, and culminating with a can't-miss UFC 239. Come be part of all the action, meet and greets, autograph sessions, and much more. Save the date to the 8th Annual UFC International Fight Week this July 3rd through the 7th. One of the biggest wins in UFC history. You take out a man who is the champion 10 pounds north of 125. What's next for Henry Cejudo? I did this for the flyaways. Now give me the best at 135 pounds. I want that belt too. He is an absolute monster. He's been on a tear. He's cleaning his division out. The rising star in the bantamweight division is magic. Marlon Marais. I'm ready. I want the title. It does not get a whole lot better than this. The messenger. I be Demetrius Johnson and TJ. I'm one of the greatest of all time. Marlon Marais. Look at his last three fights. Three first round victories. Marais is something else. You gotta be kidding me. This is a fan dream fight. El Kukui is back. An incredibly creative fighter. Very unpredictable with a wide range of skills. One of the most popular and accomplished fighters. The greatest finisher in UFC history. But he's also just so damn tough. The stakes get bigger. Shevchenko. The best of the best in women's MMA. She is a killer. That's a bad woman. This young lady has star power to go with a lot of skill. Dana, I want my title shot. This is an amazing Two belts. What a night. UFC fans, we'd like to welcome you to the weigh-in for UFC 238, Cejudo versus Marais. Tomorrow night, the stars have aligned for a massive pay-per-view here in Chicago, Illinois. In the main event, Henry Cejudo vies to become a two-division champion as he faces the surging Brazilian Magic Marlon Marais for the vacant UFC bantamweight title. Plus in the co-headliner, Valentina Shevchenko looks to defend her flyweight belt against the number one contender, Ohio's Jessica I. And not to be outdone, a feature bout between UFC superstars as former interim lightweight champion Tony Ferguson returns to face Donald Cowboy Cerrone. We would like to thank our UFC sponsors. Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile. Get knockout coverage on a network that rivals the big guys for way less. And Body Armor. Body Armor Sports Drink provides superior hydration for today's athletes. More electrolytes, more vitamins, better sports drink. Body Armor, the official sports drink of UFC. We would also like to send a special welcome to our UFC Fight Club members joining us today here in the second city. We hope to see all of you once again at United Center for the live action tomorrow night. And now for the call of the way in for UFC 238, here is Joe Rogan. What's happening, Chicago? Welcome to the way ins my friends. How about a nice round of applause for Ariane? Brittany, Vanessa, Dana White, without him, none of this would be possible. UFC matchmaker, Mick Maynard. I hope you folks are ready for tomorrow night because we got a banging card for you. And it kicks off on UFC Fight Pass in the women's flyweight division. Caitlin Chukagian versus Joanne Calderwood. Official way, 125. And her opponent, Caitlin Chukagian.
Official weight, 125. First fight of the night, ladies and gentlemen, Caitlin Chukagian and Joanne Calderwood. The next fight takes place in the Benjamin Division. Eddie Wyman versus Gregory Popov. Official weight, 135. Official weight 135 for the former WEC champion. Eddie Wineland and Gregory Popov, ladies and gentlemen. The next fight takes place in the middleweight division. Levon Lewis versus Darren Stewart. Official weight 185.5 for Mr. Stewart. And his opponent, Bubba Lewis. Official weight 186 for Mr. Lewis. Darren Stewart and Bavar Lewis, ladies and gentlemen. The next fight takes place in the women's strong. Weight division, Young Shayan versus Angela Hill. First up on the scale, Angela Hill, official weight one sixteen. Official weight 116. Angela Hill and Jan Shawnan, ladies and gentlemen. Next, we move to the ESPN prelims and we kick things off in the featherweight division. Ricardo Lamas versus Calvin. Official way, 145 for Mr. Cater. And his opponent, Ricardo Lamas.
Official lane 145 for Chicago's own Ricardo Lamas. That is an outstanding fight, ladies and gentlemen. Calvin Cater and Ricardo Lamas. Next, we move to the women's strong weight division. Carolina Kovalkovich versus Alexa Grasso. <laughs> Official weight one. Official win, 116. Alexa Grasso and Carolina Kavalkovich. Next, we move to the Bantamweight division. Aljamain Sterling versus Pedro Munoz.
official weight 251 from Mr. Imanov. And his opponent, Ty Tulivasa. Official way 259! Blagoy, even off, and time to Ivasa, ladies and gentlemen! Next, we move to the Bantamweight division. Jimmy Rivera versus Piotr. Official way 136 from Mr. Rivera. Piotr Jan and Jimmy Rivera, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's take a closer look at the two men involved in this spectacular lightweight encounter. For years, I've sat back and told you guys, you asked me making a run for the title, and I said, nah, I don't really care. I don't, it doesn't interest me. Now it's time. Donald Cowboy Cerrone, the UFC record book almost reads like his Wikipedia page. Cerrone now trying to lock up the arm. He taps Donald Cowboy Cerrone, the all-time leader in wins, the all-time leader in finishes. You're looking at him. I keep setting records every time I step in the ring, and it's like, man, how can I become the greatest who have ever done this who never gets a belt? It's like, that's the last thing I need in my legacy, man. It's what I want. He beats Tony Ferguson. He deserves a 155-pound title shot. No questions asked. That fight right there was one of the best fights you can make at lightweight. Ferguson right now is as hard as any fight in the division. We build him as arguably the most exciting fighter in mixed martial arts at present. His UFC record lightweight winning streak is now 11. He was the interim champion, came back from injury. I mean, Tony Ferguson needs to get his title fight soon. In order to be the champ, you have to beat everybody. I faced Anthony Pettis, RDA, Zetson Barbosa. Shot from Barbosa. Excellent scrambling. Now he's going for the dark. He's the dark. He's got it. Ferguson. So I'm running out of asses to kick, and Donald Cerrone was the only one that could step up to the plate. He's like really durable, really tough. I've seen him get dropped, almost put away. Oh, Ferguson goes down. Oh, my goodness. He's like Homer Simpson. He just comes back, and these guys get tired, and then shoot like a crazy takedown, and he puts him in a dart and chokes him out. He's tapping. That's it! Tony Ferguson! But stylistically wise, I'm better. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness! Striking. Oh! Head kick knocks Hernandez down! That is it! On the ground. Donald's got his back! He's got it! He's got it! That's it! That's it! I've seen everything. I've been in the fire. I've been in the trenches, man. I've been there. I'm the boogeyman, man. I'm the guy that they have to be like, ooh, cowboy on short notice? F Bring your on. I'm a hardest blue collar worker that's in my sport right now. I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna I'll, I'll punch him, I'm gonna I'll strike him, and I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna rope this cowboy up and tie him up. I see this fight playing out with Donald one way. That's me coming out with that victory. I'm gonna eat him with knees, eat him with elbows. Cowboy will become the number one contender for the lightweight belt. It's time. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the first man to step into the octagon in this spectacular lightweight encounter, Donald Cerrone! <laughs> Official win!
official way, 155 for El Kukui. El motherfucking yes. <laughs> hey, the winner is undeniably Mike Mattel, right? Tom Cerati and Tony Ferguson, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm here with Cowboy. Cowboy, this is obviously a gigantic fight between two guys that absolutely could be next in line for a shot at the title. Give us your thoughts on what this fight means to you and Tony Ferguson as an opponent. Oh man, I'm a fan too. Now I just get to do it in first person. So uh, I got to go out there and do the dream matchup, the dream fight and do what I love. Can't wait to watch, sir. Good luck to you. Mr. Ferguson, it's been a fantastic ride and you are that close to a shot of the title that has eluded you in the past. Donald Cerrone and you make for a spectacular matchup. Please give us your thoughts on what tomorrow night means to you. UFC 238. I can't wait to fucking perform in five of you guys. In Chicago, I love you guys. Not much for words. Donald, the show almost out, buddy. Good luck to you, sir. El Kukui, ladies and gentlemen. And now, let's take a closer look at the two women involved in the UFC strawweight, excuse me, flyweight championship of the world. At UFC 238, Valentina Shevchenko defends her title against the streaking Jessica I. I train harder than all of them. I know my power. I know everything that I have. Doesn't matter what Jessica will do on the fight, I am the best. Valentina Shevchenko is a sad bitch. Went five rounds with Amanda Nunes. Who goes five rounds with Amanda Nunes anymore? Right? Chris Cyborg couldn't go five rounds with Amanda Nunes. Valentina Shevchenko did. She had a lot of success at 135 pounds, and I think that really set her up for the flyweight division. Here's a fighter. She has been in combat since 12 years old. And she is the full package. Oh! Consistently pushing the pace. Whoa, very nice, very nice. Oh, there's the tap. Valentina Shevchenko by submission. You know, the phrase Cleveland tough, it captures everything that Jessica I is. She's done nothing but win. Beat Jessica Rose Clark. Beat Caitlin Chukagian. Undefeated now since the UFC reintroduced the weight class to the organization. Oh! At one point, we were losing. Oh! Now we're winning, and that's what hard work does for you. Oh, God. I'm here just to show people what never giving up does for you. Everyone, they are saying about her wrestle games that she's gonna use like a lot of wrestling. It's okay. If she wanna use it, yes, she can use her wrestling, but I can use everything. <laughs> This is gonna be one of the best fights that they're gonna see. I think that game plans win fights, and I think that Valentina is a great fighter, but my game plan will be better. I'm ready to fight. Doesn't matter who, doesn't matter where. On the throne. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger, Jessica! Official weight, 124 for the champion. All right, I'm here with the 
challenger, Jessica I. Jessica, you look very relaxed and very comfortable. This is absolutely the most important fight of your career and an amazing matchup. Please give us your thoughts on what it means to fight for the title. It means everything to fight for the title, man. I've been the underdog my entire life. I was an underdog when I went to make weight this morning. You guys thought I wasn't going to make weight for this? Come on now. I've been waiting way too long. You're right. I'll show you Cleveland tough. Good luck to you tomorrow night. Jessica I, ladies and gentlemen. And the champion, ladies and gentlemen. Valentina, you are absolutely one of the very best fighters in the sport, and this is an opportunity for you to defend your title. Give us your thoughts on Jessica I as an opponent and what tomorrow night means to you. Ready for the fight, feeling strong and confident. I hope Jessica will bring everything on the fight because I want good fight to win the belt and keep it as long as I can. We all want good fight, so good luck to you, ma'am. The champion, ladies and gentlemen. And now, Let's take a closer look at the two men involved in the main event of the evening. Losing, uh, losing hurts, losing, losing sucks. But losing that fight, it taught me a lesson. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. What makes me unique is the fact that I've been through all that. I was honest with myself, looked at myself in the mirror, and I, I didn't fake it until I made it. I, I faced it. That right there was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. The Demetrius loss is what is what made me. Oh, good left hand by Cejudo. And let that fire it, let that spur it back up. Henry Cejudo. People weren't expecting it. People weren't expecting me to be Demetrius Johnson. Wow, oh, beautiful. Henry Cejudo has gotten a ton better. I mean, that is high level wrestling there by Henry Cejudo. Uh, Henry Cejudo, you just shocked the world. I'm here to prove everybody wrong. I did it with Demetrius. I said, why can't I do it with TJ? The greatest bantamweight of all time. Oh, he got red! Henry Cejudo! No! TJ Dillashaw! Beat two of the greatest fighters of our generation. There is no denying that I will need that pound for pound crown. That's my legacy, to be the pound for pound king. Bad decision for him, bad fight for him. I'm very hungry. This is the biggest fight of my life. So I'm gonna work as hard as I ever done before and I'm gonna show up ready to win. He's a very good wrestler. He beat Demetrius Johnson, he beat TJ Dallachau, but he never fought Marlon Moraes. I'm gonna show to everyone who's the real champion. Oh, big kick, and that is it! I keep knocking guys out. Oh, head kick for Marais! Rivera in big trouble early! That is it! I'm a killer. I'm gonna go in there with the mission, put him out. That's oh, it! There's the that is it! Wow, Marais! Wow! I bring it all, you know, and he knows he's in trouble. He's knocked out good guys, but they hate me. He's fighting the Henry Cejudo, the greatest combat athlete of all time. He will learn the hard way. Oh! You see, he's gonna get exposed to Junaid. He's gonna get knocked out pretty quick. This fight's gonna end with Marlon Marais on the canvas. Another one bites the dust. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger, Marlon! Official 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the challenger. This is an incredible matchup, Marlon, and one that we've been looking forward to for you to fight for a title in the UFC ever since you came here from other organizations. The time has come. Give us your thoughts on Henry Cejudo as a fighter and what tomorrow night means to you. Man, I'm very happy to be here and to represent Brazil and, and give back to, to all Americans. Everything I have, I earn it. I, I work hard. I got here. And here is a great fighter. I'm a, I'm a great fighter. But you know what, guys? The bullshit is done. Now it's my time. You know what fighters do? They fight. And this is what I'm going to do tomorrow night. And I'm going to take my belt. Let's go. <laughs> Good luck to you, sir. Marlon Marais, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with the flyweight champ. Henry, this is one of those rare opportunities in combat sports where you could possibly become champ champ. Give us your thoughts on what that means to you and give us your thoughts on Marlon as a fighter. That's exactly what it is, man. It's my legacy, it's my dream. I've, I've accomplished everything I want to accomplish, but like I said before, nobody has ever used that P word. And on June 8th, that's all gonna change. I will be the pound for pound king. Good luck to you, sir. Tomorrow night, Henry Cejudo, Marlon Marais. We'll see you guys out there. Thank you, Chicago. We'll see you soon. Henry Cejudo just shocked the world. I'm the UFC champion. Now give me the best at 135 pounds. I want that belt, too. Step up. Step up. You're not ready for what's coming. Don't stop. champion to UFC world champion. Henry Cejudo is the American dream. Flyweight division. Say hello to your worst nightmare. Valentina can do it from wherever. Ooh. Jessica Evenai steps up and says, I'll be a champion. To fight fans' dream, Cerrone returned to lightweight because he wanted to chase the championship. And that's Ferguson at his best, mixing it up. You don't know what's coming. What a fight! The hero. One of the biggest wins in UFC history. What's next for Henry Cejudo? I did this for the flyweight. Now give me the best at 135 pounds. I want that belt too. Marlon Marais, he's been on a tear. He is an absolute monster. I'm ready. I want the title. It does not get a whole lot better than this. The messenger. I be Demetrius Johnson and TJ. I'm one of the greatest of all time. Marlon Marais, look at his last three fights. Three first round victories. Marais is something else. Oh, this is a fan dream fight. El Kukui is back. An incredibly creative fighter. Very unpredictable with a wide range of skills. One of the most popular and accomplished fighters. The greatest finisher in UFC history. But he's also just so damn tough. Shevchenko. Jin A. Killer. That's a bad woman. Jessica. I. Dana, I want my title shot. This is an amazing matchup. Two belts. What a night. One more time, Kansas City, put your hands together for the war inside the game. Finally got a brick new jersey, here is Deanna Bennett! Presentando la niña de Pueblo, Mexico, Karina Rose! 